Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, I'll show you how to create an account alias to make it easier to sign in as an IAM user. So you guys remember, anytime you want to sign in as an IAM user, first you have to come to the management console and in the management console, you click sign into the console. Then on this page to sign in as an IAM user, the first thing you have to remember is your account ID. And as you can see, this is my account ID. It is a long number to remember. The only reason my account ID is showing here now is because I previously signed in as an IAM user and it remembered my account ID from that session. Just in case if your account ID is not here, it is a little bit difficult to try to remember your account ID. And the other way to that is if you open your CSV file, then you copy your sign in link. This is my sign in link. And I'm going to copy this. This is the easiest way I found. Copy your sign in link, paste it here, and press enter. And once you put that sign in link and press enter, that will populate your account ID for you. There is an easier way to log in as an IAM user that does not require you to remember your account ID or use the sign in link. And that way is to create an account alias. So in this lecture, I'll show you how to create an account alias. Creating an account alias, in my opinion, makes it easier for you to sign in as an IAM user. So to create an account alias, first let's sign in into our account as our IAM user. Once you've signed in as the IAM user, the next thing I want you to do is go to the IAM service. So I'll type IAM up here and I'll select the IAM service. In the IAM dashboard, look to the right side where you see AWS account. Here you are going to see your account ID. You are going to see an account alias and you'll see the sign in URL that your IAM user always used to sign in. So to make it easier to sign in next time as an IAM user, what we are going to do is create an account alias. To create an account alias, it is simple. Just click create here. Then enter your account alias here. So your account alias is just any name that is easier for you to remember. I'll call my AOS Note 77. And notice when you enter your preferred alias name, it is going to change here from your account ID to the alias. So now this URL is much easier to remember to sign in. And once you've entered that, click Save Changes. And there you go. You can see your account alias now has changed to whatever name you gave it. You can always delete this in the future or edit it. So next time you want to sign in, it is just easier to use this account alias you created. Now that we've created this account alias, let's test it. I'm going to sign out. I'll click my name and I'll sign out. And I'm going to log back in. And now I'm logging in as an IAM user. Instead of putting your account ID here, now you can just put your alias name. So here, my alias name is AOS Notes 77. Then I'll enter my username and I'm going to enter the password. Once I enter the password, I'll click sign in. It is going to ask me for the MFA code again. So this time I'm going to enter the code. The code I'm seeing in my app is 899728. And I'm going to click submit. And there you go. Now I'm signing as my IAM user, but I don't have to remember my account ID. It is much easier to type the account alias there, enter your username and your password. So that is it for this lecture. Thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.